Hey everyone, it is Neha, founder of College Shortcuts. I hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing. One of the things I wanted to talk to you guys about today, and for everyone that listens and reads my emails, of course I sent you guys an amazing email about back to school this morning. Yes, that was from yours truly. Now, I just want to make sure I'm going to do a little sound check, make sure you guys can hear me. So if you can hear me, make sure to comment below or give me a like so I know. Um, so hit comment below, say yes if you can hear me. Now. I want to talk about the three biggest mistakes that happen during back to school because we all know that, my gosh, back to school is such a crazy time. And my favorite thing about it, though, is, of course, Target, because Target has the best school supplies and it's tons of fun. But, you know, one thing you do want to know is that back to school can be actually quite challenging for your child. Uh, You know, with a lot of families that we work with, we see a lot of times students are really having a challenge of getting back into the game. So I want to tell you about three top mistakes here today that people make when it comes to getting back into gear. Number one, there's no what I call like nice, how do do you say it's like this nice gradual experience. So you go from, you know, traveling, summer trip, and then you go straight into school. I mean, I'll tell you, for example, I've been on the road, you know, with my mission. I've been in Florida, passing through Mississippi, Alabama, uh, just now leaving Louisiana. It's been quite a trip. I'm heading back to Texas. And I will tell you that it does take time to recoup from travel. And so many times parents will book that last minute trip thinking like, okay, let's do it the week before school starts. But we don't give our kids that gradual get ready for what we call 100 miles an hour. Now, I see people logging on. If you guys can hear me, please type yes into the comment box. Anyone that's logging in, again, this is Neha Gupta, founder of College Shortcuts and Elite Private Tutors. Uh, Make sure to hit get notifications every time because we'll be doing a lot of great videos with free tips. All right. So like I was saying, number one, not giving your kid the gradual that they need when it comes to getting ready for back to school. We think it's easy, right? It's like, here's your backpack, books, figure it out, it's done. But the reality of it is they need a little time. First, one of the biggest things I keep seeing is, why did all the kids forget about summer reading until the week before, right? Like, I think that's one thing most parents get frustrated about, but it's really about setting them up for success. So allowing them to have the time they need in order to really get their stuff done. The second thing that's really important here about that gradual thing is that you've gotta make sure you have all the supplies ready for your kid. So the planner is a big one. I was talking with a student out in California, this really sweet boy who has signed up for my peak performance program. And we found out that the reason that his grades were dropping last year was because specifically he did not use his planner effectively and he was just using the online portal. But so many times, by the way, when you think your kid's like, oh, I got it in the online portal, not every teacher has gone up to speed yet about using these portals. So you've got to realize the importance of making sure that your child has everything ready to go when it comes to back to school. So that's the first thing I want to talk about that I see over and over where school started 100 miles an hour and your kid is just still enjoying July 4th. I mean, literally is like on vacation, still having a good time, used to sleeping up, you know, sleeping till noon, and they don't have that routine set. So that's the number one big thing. The second thing that's really big that I keep seeing Uh, is test prep. So for example, a lot of students are taking uh, an SAT really soon in the next few days. What I will tell you is those students that were planning on taking that test, they started prep at least two months in advance. So when you have back to school, most parents think, okay, let's go ahead and get started into school and let's, let's make sure that we, you know, set the first two weeks to get set up, et cetera. But they don't realize that there's these all, all these other dates for the SAT and ACT that really you should be preparing for now. Because the thing about it is most schools don't give that much homework. They don't have that many tests in the first semester, especially between August, September, and October. These are kind of the lightest months academically for a student. So I really want to make sure you understand that, you know, when it comes to test prep, it does take a plan of action. And one of the things we love doing, and that's why I put my phone number below, we've got team members ready to go for you. We've got these amazing back to school specials right now, and we've got parents calling nonstop. I and mean, we have about 100 parents right now that we're trying to communicate with to make sure we get them all booked up. But what I will tell you is, when it comes to test prep, number one, you want the best coach. And when you're not setting your kid up for success for back to school and you're waiting till the last minute, 
because you're waiting for them to talk to you or you want to talk to them about it. I will tell you as someone who's an overachiever, top of my class type of kid, my parents didn't wait to ask me if I needed test prep. They just got it set up for me. I I don't know how else to explain that. Like, while most teenagers would rather be on Snapchat or watching the Kardashians or Life of Kylie or all that other trash on television, if you're asking them to do something they don't like to do, they're children. They're not going to be like, yeah, test prep. Like, that's not going to happen, guys. So it's really important for you as a parent to really take ownership and say, you know what, let me find out some solutions and start getting it booked. And like I say in every email, if you have time to be booking your kid for soccer, dance, football, all this other stuff, let me tell you what's more important, test prep. Now, PSAT is coming up in October, and so many parents aren't even thinking about it, but that's a big test coming up. And most parents don't think about it till mm, a week before, which, let's face it, you can't drive results a week before anything. You know, I have a gala that's going to be coming up in the next few weeks, I'm not going to try to look phenomenal for it a week before. I'm going to really work hard ahead of time. That's why, you know, if you look at celebrities, they have trainers. They have It's set up as the game day. Well, so is the test. The test is the game day. And it's the kids that, you know, really set themselves up for success. You know, they study at least a minimum 30 hours for the test, upwards of 50, that really get the scores that get national merit, scores above 1,400 on the SAT, 30 and above on the ACT. I mean, these are the types of scores that really get students into top schools. So, you know, on my way back to Texas, I thought, you know, why not talk about the pitfalls? Um, No pun intended, you know, since I'm driving pitfalls. Um, But the pitfalls of what happens with back to school, because I, I just see these trends over and over for the last 12 years. I keep seeing this happen over and over. Now, I see some people logging in. Again, this is Neha, founder of College Shortcuts. Um, If you can absolutely hear me because I'm doing this on the road, please type in yes into the comments so that I know that you're totally with me and you can hear me. And then the third thing I want to talk about here. So we've talked about number one, not giving your kid the gradual time to get ready for it. uh, And then you're just piling everything on them. Uh, Number two is about test prep and not realizing that like there are certain test dates and most parents just get their kids signed up and then they book the test prep and they get it done with. Like it's, you know, we work seven days a week. So literally you could just get this done pretty quickly. Um, And we've got these amazing back to school special guys, like incredible pricing on test prep right now, it's insane. So call us at 713-401-2867. The third thing I wanna talk about with back to school is really not understanding why tutoring is so important. So most of the time I get, you know, what I call the nightmare call in about October when a parent goes to the online portal, portal and receives the progress report, what I call the dreaded progress report, because they already knew in advance that they signed their kids up for pretty challenging classes, but yet didn't get them the support that they were supposed to get. So let me tell you one of the biggest mistakes I see over and over. Around October, we get about, I'd say about 200 calls that come through where parents are like, oh my gosh, I just got the progress report and my kid just bombed a class. And I said, interesting. So tell me, um, did you already know based on past experience that this class would be hard for for your kids? And they go, yes, I knew it already. Um, I knew this would be a really challenging experience for them. And well, you know, I, I just thought they'd be able to figure it out. I'm like, great. So when they took the first test and they bombed it, what did, what happened? Did you have a conversation? Did you know about it? Did you can't hide it from you? Let's be honest, it happens all the time. And they said, well, you know, they said they would do better next time. I said, great, what happened the next time, by the way? Like, end of August, there's a test. There's at least two, three tests in September, one or two in October. So by this point, you're like halfway through. Technically, 25% of the grades are done in those first three months of the year in your GPA. And they said, well, they just said they'd improve and they went to the teacher and they don't really like the teacher. So guys, this is the biggest mistake I see constantly because you let your child fall over and over and over until October when in any AP or honors class, let's face it, they've already gone through five or six chapters. So the reason why tutoring is so important at the beginning, and I know everyone's like, why would I get tutors now? Well, the thing is you have to paste your kid back into school, number one, and having a tutor really helps with that. And number two, you really wanna make sure that they're understanding the material. Because let me tell you something, the first three months of material, just so you know, 
are the most important parts. They're the foundation of the subject. For example, if your kid's in chemistry and they don't understand what all the elements are or how to balance an equation, the rest of the year, super hard. So all of a sudden, you set your tutor up for failure by calling them in November and saying, hey, my kid's making a C or D. Can you, can you help like one hour a week? And let's face it, they're learning five hours a week of material already moving forward and you want our team to teach your kid the last three months of material that they weren't getting. So I just wanted to do a video here because I know I've been a little silent. Last week we had an incredible event with over 150 parents. Uh, it's been an insane uh, few, last few days I've been on the road um, and I'm heading back, but I just, I miss you guys so much and I wanted to reach out to you because I know back to school is really intense. So here are a few ways that you can really solve this issue for your kid. Number one, give me a call below and let us know, you know, what are the classes you think your kid is going to struggle in and find some solutions that could possibly help them. Number two, if you know your kid is taking the PSAT or the SAT or the ACT, I want you to call us because we have some incredible deals that end in August that can totally help your kid with test prep. And like I've told so many times, if your kid doesn't qualify from a GPA perspective or a test prep perspective, it's really hard for the schools to want to accept your kid into college. So these are the types of things you really want to invest in. And then the third thing I want you to know is just handle your kid with a little bit of care. I mean, let's face it, they just had a whole summer break. They got to do all these fun and cool things. You know, they got to travel. They got to do these amazing internships. You know, it's, it's not easy for them either. And so, like I always say with heart, you know, our kids are amazing. They just need a little time to adjust. Why not get them a little bit of support? You know, and, and I know that sometimes that's hard because we don't want to admit we need help. But I'm here to tell you that getting help is amazing. It's the team that makes the dream work. And we have an incredible team at Elite Private Tutors and College Shortcuts. You know, I handpick everyone on my team. We make sure that energetically we're synergistic together, that we're all pushing forward towards our mission of uplifting humanity and making sure that all kids are taken care of. Um, and so I just wanted to do this quick video for you guys because I know that back to school can really stress you out as a parent. And sometimes you're maybe not your absolute best. I know sometimes I'm not my absolute best. And I just wanted this to be a quick reminder on some of the trends I see over the last 12 years around this time of the year, um, but also I wanted to give you some solutions on how we can be of service to you and how we can make your life easier as a parent because we know how challenging it already is. So don't hesitate to call me. We have an amazing team ready to go. I've already told my team I was doing this video, so anyone that's watching, we'd be more than happy to speak with you. See for a great fit. If we're not, maybe we